Hi friends, Dr. James Lefevre here, Integrative Health Director of Linology, and today we're here to do a procedure on myself. For those of you who know, a couple years back, a little over two and a half years now. It's been that long. Yeah. Yes, our injection king, Josiah Smith, PA. Hey guys. He's also certified functional medicine practitioner, and there's so many other credentials behind your name. A, B, C, D, I mean, it's, it's hey, incredible. A through Z. <laughs> a through Z, this guy. So, we're here today because I have what we call an extruded disc in my lumbar spine at L5-S1. And about five years ago, back in 2015, I had an MRI done that had a 15 millimeter extrusion that we could document. We had got it done here locally at Simon Med. I was pretty dumbfounded when I saw it because at the time I was, I was relatively asymptomatic. I still had some residual symptoms of numbness and some weakness in my leg but the shooting pain that I was getting a few weeks prior to getting the MRI was not there. So having an extrusion like that to that degree is kind of a big deal. Um, I decided not to go the surgery route. I had a neurosurgeon, orthopedic surgeon, both give me advice recommending that I should do a consultation with them. I opted not to because I wanted to try to see how much chiropractic, functional body therapy, acupuncture, massage, corrective exercise, just fine-tuning my lifestyle would do and we did another MRI back in 2018 that showed that the extrusion went from 15 millimeters to about four or five millimeters I'll put that up on the screen here in a second um, one of the big things I want to share with you guys though today is that we're now in 2020 mm -hmm. We just went through arguably one of the biggest, you know, things that in health history and, and modern history or in any history of this pandemic and COVID. Um, we also have a business that was essential and made us work a little bit harder, I think, yes. than we all expected. Um, a lot of different stressors. My family life, my wife is pregnant now. Uh, she's pregnant at seven months, so we're, we're set to do uh, deliver in December. So for me, it's, I've got to get my back in shape. I started to notice over the last few weeks, some numbness come back in the top of my thigh. I started to notice some weakness in my left leg. I wake up in the middle of the night every few days with like a leg cramp or a spasm in my calf. I've been getting chiropractic, I've been getting a massage. I've actually been trying to sleep a little bit more seven eight hours a night before i got this procedure prioritizing sleep I'm how sure. important is that <laughs> yes it's very important but sometimes we have to sacrifice certain things for others i don't necessarily believe in that you know life has to balance and it has to be perfect um you know there's so many different things that we have to do and sometimes we have to sacrifice things for others but short periods of time may be okay for the last six months probably not okay so that's where we're going to rock out on this, and I can't wait for Josiah to share with you what we're going to do today. So Josiah, please, you're the expert. Tell me what we're going to do. All right, so what we're going to do, let's even just back up two and a half years ago. Yes. Because when we're first getting into regenerative medicine and regenerative technologies, we actually at that time did a perinatal umbilical cellular allograft yes. injection, paraphacet specifically, into the lower back, the L5 S1 area, right this area, which is right right down here. This is where you would almost get the, the sciatic nerve pitch through yeah. your sciatica going down your leg. And so at that time, when we did the paraphacet injections, now with all the signaling agents inside the perinatal tissue that homes to the area, not only to the uh, protrusion, but to the ligaments that support the spinal column. And that actually decreased inflammation and actually provided some relief for you. Can you let the audience know that's watching this, the first injection that we did two and a half years ago, what type of results did you receive from that? Yeah, it was really interesting. So when we did that procedure, we did a paraphacet of L4, L5, and L5, S1, very similar to what we're gonna do today. And at the time, the product we used actually helped within a minute this numbness that I kind of chronically had for years on the front of my left leg just like I started getting this itchy kind of weird feeling back and the feeling came back a hundred percent 
over the last two years, I've noticed my leg strength increase. Maybe I don't think it's ever been a hundred percent since I did the injection, but maybe 80, 90% improved. Uh, I still just, I, I, over the last few months, I just gradually started to feel that weakness that I had two and a half years ago that I thought went away, started to come back. Almost an instability too. This instability, I, this feeling that I had in my lower back when I do certain activities, bending over and adjusting guest, or very active outdoors, quad riding, jet skiing. I started to notice that instability uh, significantly improved again 80 90 percent improved over the last couple of years and now it's coming back also then i think one of the most interesting things that i would wake up with these cramps that i thought i was magnesium deficient i thought i wasn't drinking enough water i thought there's so many things that it could be that why my muscles spasming at night and those spasms went away up until the last few months so now that i'm starting to get them i'm getting them a little more frequent they're a little bit more intense um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by what the, the cells did at that point in time, the cellular therapy that we did, but now doing this exosomal therapy, we've already seen over the last year that we've been using the exosomes and, and certain joint injections, we use exosomes and PRP. I'm just amazed at the results that I see on the chiropractic side as I'm adjusting our guests. And so now I, I want to experience this for myself. Yeah, and so briefly, because of his lower disc issues, this is the spinous process, and the paraphacets are on the lateral aspects of the, the spine itself. So when we actually do the injections, it's almost like a trigger point. Now, the amazing thing about exosomes, they home in the, their signaling agents inside the mesenchymal stem cell that home to the area where the problem is. So because you have a lot of inflammation there, it will go to not only interdiscally because there are cells there, it's going to go to the ligaments and all the supporting ligamenture that supports the whole spinous process and the whole uh, vertebrae and everything that's here. So when it goes there, like it did before, it will decrease the inflammation, help modulate any immune dysregulation, and it will actually help mitigate any dying cells and help upregulate any cellular activity to enhance the healing process. And something we've been doing the last two years is something called peptide therapy. There's an amazing peptide called thymosin beta-4, which is readily available, had extensive experience with, and we'll also add this as part of the regime because it will, again, it's part of the thymic gland, it's a 43 amino acid sequence, and we can do this uh, in the paraphacet areas and also intravenous, and it's going to help with stem cell uh, migration to that area. It also decreases inflammation. It actually will help with the regenerative properties of the exosome. So it's a very synergistic approach when we're utilizing these two type of biologic uh, therapies. It's almost like a marriage made in heaven, and that's going to be something else that we're going to do to increase the potentiation of the results of this amazing therapy that is changing people's lives. Yeah, I think he, he hit a word in there. He said stem cell. And what I, what I was actually thinking a few years ago was stem cells that we were putting in our body. But actually what I don't think most people realize is that until you die, you have stem cells in your body that are constantly reproducing and replicating mm -hmm. certain tissue functions, certain organ functions throughout your entire body. And so what this therapy does that makes more sense to me than anything is that it signals my own cells to produce more. It signals my own cells to be more productive. And so this is where you have somebody who's, we had an 81 year old gentleman, he's a retired pediatrician, right? He didn't want to get a hip replacement. We did an ex this exosome therapy with him and his hip. and. What was it, Josiah? Shortly, he had to use a walker to get around, and yes. he no longer needed the walker. And it actually helped his mood because he wasn't in pain. So it just getting out of pain, it helps with the emotional, the relationships, so many things. And, many factors. And enjoying things in life you couldn't do before, which is so very important with this. It's incredibly important. And that's why I think whether you're 81 or at my point in life, I'm 37 now. I mean, we've seen people younger than me get this therapy we've seen people older than 81. So I don't think this has a trauma to the spine, trauma to the joints. 
doesn't have an age. It's not because you're getting old that you need certain things to happen. You, not because you're getting old that you're having degeneration to your spine. It's trauma within a certain period of time that starts to add up. And like with my back, I had trauma early on as a kid. I played football, I had a car accident, I fell off a tree. Many things that, that caused my disc extrusion. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this exosome therapy is gonna do now. Yeah, so the next step, we are going to prep his back and get ready for the exosomal experience. Okay guys, we'll awesome. be back with the therapy in just a sec. Thank you, hope you guys enjoy it. What we are first doing, we are going to mark the anatomy of the lower spine so we know where specifically where we're going to inject this magic sauce. You wanna show everyone? Show it up close to the camera. So these are the exosomes, the mesenchymal stem cell. In this particular one, these are bone marrow derived. Okay. done the markings on the anatomy. What we're going to do now, we are going to use uh, chlorhexidine and create a nice clean area that is sanitary. <laughs> so we decrease any introduction of, you know, bacteria. We keep it as sterile as possible. Hey guys, I'm back. So I hope that was as entertaining as it felt. Um, definitely, definitely some interesting feelings going down my left leg right now. I almost feel like it's just like it's, I don't know if you guys have felt like your leg fall asleep and then it kind of slowly wakes up. Well, my left leg, again, for the past few months has almost felt like a sleepy leg. Like I'm still functional and still, I'm not a complainer though. I don't even like to talk about it. Heck, I don't even know if, really like talking to my wife about it. So I think that's no. most guys, right? We want to be tough. But at the end of the day, um, there was definitely something going on that I needed to address. And I did. One of the things Josiah talked about too is doing a thymus and beta-4 uh, peptide to help the signaling of the cells enhance. So after the injection, uh, using the, what was the, is it a lidocaine? Like no, it's ethyl chloride. ethyl chloride, so it's a topical spray that freezes the top layer of the skin, so when we penetrate with the needle, there's less of discomfort to the area that we're injecting. Yeah, there was definitely less discomfort. Over two and a half years ago when I did the first injection with him, um, I did not use any, is it antiseptic, anesthetic? Anesthetic, Anesthetic, topical. yes. <laughs> I did not use any topical anesthetic in it, it did not feel great. It wasn't overly painful, but I knew we had some guests that would want to know what it felt like. So uh, there we go. Now I don't have to do that again. 
I got the topical and it felt just like a little pinch. I hate, hate, hate needles. And that's a great segue to getting an IV. I don't like needles there. I'm gonna get some acupuncture done with our Oriental Medicine doctor, Dr. Matthew Roderick here in a minute. I don't like those needles either, but it, it's just something that's necessary to help take care of my body and get me in the best shape possible. Um, as I mentioned previously, we have a baby on the way, baby number three. So with a business that is not slowing down, with a family that's growing, and with practitioners and a team of people here at Alignology that are dependent on me, as much as I'm dependent on them, I gotta be on my A game every day, and this is definitely gonna help me get there. So, um, yeah. Let's see what Josiah's got cooking. Josiah, what are we gonna do with this peptide? Hold on. What we're gonna do with the peptide, so we are going to infuse that in a 100 ml bag of normal saline, and we're gonna let it drip over probably about 15, 20 minutes. So the thymosin beta-4, again, is a conservative peptide for the thymic gland, and it has been shown to decrease inflammation, helps with healing, it can cross the blood-brain barrier. It will help direct the therapy that we've already done and enhance the outcomes. So any other pain you may have, it will help with that. It will actually help with the regeneration. As I said, it will help with your own stem cell, go to the area that needs, your, needs the healing, like we did in the back. And this will also decrease which you've already had and enhance and decrease inflammation and causing the numbness going down the leg from the irritation to the uh, nerve root. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I think it should come out. Yeah, just make it tight. Don't open and close it. Okay. Okay. By the way, I hate needles. Did I say that already? <laughs> Okay, big boy. I'm sure you'll hold it straight. Injection King. Yep, IV started. It also helps. He's a guy and has awesome veins. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm good at injecting, but he makes my job a lot easier, too. Thank you. Is that the hard part? The worst part is over. Cool. Yeah. Makes it even better stories. I was a. Uh, we'll, we'll chop that out. <laughs> chop and screw. What makes it even better stories? I was a phlebotomist for three years prior to going to chiropractic college. So big shout out to Scott and White in Temple, Texas. Drew blood on patient floors, ICU, the ER, and the lab. We spun down blood played with urine, all kinds of fun stuff. But I still hated it. <laughs> I love taking care of people. I hated needles. We can cut this part out, but one of the things that 
All right, friends, so we are wrapping this up and we're going to show you our next segment. I'm going to do some acupuncture. We just did an exosome injection in my lower back. Exosome injection, Thymosin Beta 4 IV. And this was crazy. Like the first time that tingling going down your leg has subsided. Yeah, so That's within, nuts. within like a couple minutes, I started to notice this like weird sensation. That it's almost like a weakness, numbness. It's hard to describe, but it pretty much goes down from my glutes, my, my left butt, down to like the bottom of my foot. And I know it's like getting adjusted, massaging, acupuncture, all changes it and makes it feel better but it doesn't last. And so what I'm looking at now is how this exosome injection is gonna help enhance everything else that I'm gonna do. Yeah, and the cool thing is we've had a lot of people with almost instant results. It's so anti-inflammatory. For some people, it does work that quickly. We can't promise miracles, but in this case, we know it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. And we're looking at this to work, what, six to eight months? Is that what six the literature Six to eight suggests? months, the literature is showing, and there will be some residual. But for the first couple of weeks, the majority of it will be, you know, out of your system. But it will continue to work, especially the thymosin beta-4. You have an enhanced cellular regenerative experience, my friend. Awesome. Love it. Integrative Health Director Linology, <laughs> Dr. James Lefevre. Josiah Smith, PA. Signing out. He's our injection king. I can't wait for you guys to see more. All right.